is Macklin on the perimeter. Off the backboard and into the hands of Vinay. Jimmy Vinay's been the catalyst this half. He's doing everything for the Terriers. Including that three just there. Diane Nolan burns a timeout. 43 to 30, St. Francis with 16, 12 to go. Some votes there. I mean, they're deserving of that and all their hard work finally getting recognized. Simpson a behind the back layup. St. Francis up 50 to 33. 17 to 5 run to open the second half. Team tonight. Simpson driving inside. Out for Fox. Three. Good. Off the bank, off the glass. Katie, you have to call that. The bank was open on the Fox three-pointer. This Fox says three-pointer, 53-38. St. Francis, 11-37, left in the second half. Goes inside, Holman for Lutz. Simpson knocks it out of Lutz's head. Breakaway layup for A. Lee is in. Ailey's so active on the offensive end, she showed on the defensive end. She plays both ends of the floor. You gotta love her efforts. Fox as the shot clock line, down and it's good. That's the dagger. That's kind of been the way the night's been going all night for Fox and the other guards. They've been excellent from behind the three-point line. Medal and St. Francis winning their fourth straight. They were 8-79 over three years. They're 8-2 through 10 games. St. Francis 74, Lafayette 52. Fourth straight win for the Terriers. They take another brief hiatus before they hit the road to face Delaware State a week from Sunday in their final tune-up before Northeast Conference play opens at Megan, a 22-point victory in their first game off a 13-day break. Definitely something John Thurston has to be pleased with. The team should be thrilled. There is no way at all that you would think that the team would come out with this much firepower after taking so much time off but the Terriers have maintained that level of play, and I would argue that they've even increased it. So it's great to see the team working like a well-oiled machine. 